I am going to throw up. <coughs> it feels strange in here. <coughs> Was that Master's face? I can keep up. It's hard to get used to it for the first time. I feel a lot better in here. I'm sorry, Calabona. I don't think this body of mine can hold any longer for a more appropriate meeting in the real world. I'm glad you came back for me. What I said was indeed too harsh. Kumar, why do you have to? Look at you. The price is too high. Hmm. In the first instance, I did have other intentions. I kept imagining how my so-called parents would react when they were about to get crushed to pieces by the star. Little did I know, they have already paid for what they've done. I worked myself to the bone, but who knew I would lose everything, including my purpose? It really sucks. But it's okay, just a minor setback. Compared to what I've been through, it's not even worth mentioning. That's why I changed my mind. I want to see it. To see it. The star we can't see with our eyes. Seems like I was not very careful about my wording when my mind was clouded. It is a celestial body, Kalabona, not a star. It could even be a moving black hole. I'd rather you did this out of the hatred towards the people who abandoned you. Or even towards me. For I carelessly exposed my identity as an arcanist. And thus, you lost your heart. I wish the same. I wish so badly that I could just be filled with pure hatred towards someone. But I can't, kid. You're the lucky one, young brother. I was going to kick your butt in our last encounter, but I just couldn't do it. But the madness has made you. Kid, Banner University can get my name on the SCI list, while the madness allows me to touch the universe. They are not that different to me. Sister, mother told me about this. You physically can't take such a great amount of arcanum in you. The manis should also know this. I appreciate that they remembered this about me. But this is the path I chose. When I look into the sky, I feel myself the freest being in the world. The universe. What a vast, life-embracing place it is. No matter if you're a canist 
or a human, even a grain of sand. It encompassed everything. But I was driven away from studying it, abandoned by my own family for some insignificant, unimportant reasons. should have understood this earlier. That my struggle means nothing on this planet. I'm tired, Kalapuna. Just want to see that celestial body with my own eyes. But, Kumar... That's not how you look at a star. The telescope shouldn't be placed in a basement, and you shouldn't lower your head. Kumar, how long has it been since the last time you looked up at the night sky, at the other stars? What's more? If the star falls, people in the village, including those kids, none of them will survive. The madness you summoned here has brought disaster to this place, to the people and their families. They are not the sacrifices of your wish. Stop heading down the wrong path, Kumar. You know what? I don't care about them. Just like they've never cared about me, haven't they? Sorry. Please indulge me with one last will for act. This is the path I chose. And you can't stop me. Calabona. Hmm? What? It's Matilda. They made it. Hurry, quickly. You understand? Yes. That's what Miss Calabona taught me to do. Hmm. But I can't see anything when my eyes are closed. Don't rely on the eyes. Hold this crystal and take a deep breath. Do feel, um, what she say? The change of the universe. <gasps> the meteor shower is starting earlier. What did you do? <laughs> That's the method only once known between you and me, Kumar. The observation method? You told others about the celestial egg? So what? I see. I see. You once pitched that research proposal to me. You are indeed my best student, Kalabona. I finally understand why you asked me to keep it a secret. Even if we named it Egg, it's actually a projection of the universe, which has the same feature. 
The universe is infinite. As long as we observe it self-consciously, think each of ourselves as one of the centers of the universe. The egg will then collapse because of multiple centers until it puts a quietus in everything, including that star. A shattered mirror will never be pieced together again if there are enough forces to break it. Am I right? Then, there was neither existence nor non-existence. There was neither the realm of space nor the sky beyond. Who could master these skills? Those old fogies in the village? A genius girl and a bunch of kids who looked up at the stars. I'm sorry, Kumar. I have to. No, we have to stop you this time. I can't let you destroy more punk. Or destroy yourself. Giant spheres, are they? That's Ketu and Rahul. Kumar, you. Even the infortune may reverse, but it's irreversible. Either do it quickly, or hold her off. The realm will collapse once the observation starts, and I believe in Matilda. Don't rush in. She seems to be waiting as well. She's accumulating power. Hmm. The marks on her. My child, as the nebula collapses, no watching eyes will survive the destruction. But you should remember, it's not eyes that our observation relies on. Plan A. Plan B. Take it easy. Good timing. A mic pass. Three, two, one, down. Hey! Advice from the forest. How dare you! Uh. <laughs> Plan A is the last. Handle it gently. Frost you with the armor of the forest. Three. Flying handbag for only 3,000 Corpidontes. others our method to see that star. You have really ruined everything this time. Take it easy. Candy. No worries. Relax. 
try for free. Try for free. An unconventional choice. Thank you for your cooperation. Stop. No worries. The show's on. Handle it gently. Take it easy. Come back to me. Time waits for no one. Even for a great thing. take advantage of you? You and I, we are very alike. Bloody prom! Relax. Handle it gently. Good timing. The ocean dried and I'm alone again. <laughs> Free. Humans, we, we wouldn't have to waste time on this, right? The red of the woods are watching. Shows on. Bloody prom. I weave the gown with thorns. You shall repay with sacrifice of wounds. Time waits for no one, even for a great. Dried and I'm alone again. 
<laughs> if I can push it a little further, I have lost everything. I, I don't understand. Oof, that went smooth. Exactly. <laughs> 